Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock. Last time, all we really accomplished was, uh, poking around in the maintenance level and clearing out a few things, mostly just finding a few goodies, clearing out most of, but not all of, the security, and finally taking the elevator up to the executive level, which is where our mission is really going to continue. So let's pick it up there. Alright, this is the entrance to level 6. Regarding enemies on level 6, there's only one kind we need to worry about respawns on, and those are the exec bots. We've seen one of those in the reactor already, and they're pretty strong. They aren't as strong as uh, Security 2 bots, not by, a not by a lot, but that doesn't really matter all that much. The level starts out with 19 exec bots in it, and it'll spawn six new ones if their population dips below six. So we can only kill 13 exec bots without triggering a respawn. That's all we need to worry about in deck six proper. It is worth noting that there are three groves branching off from deck six, level six. I say deck because I'm used to System Shock 2, but the three groves are each levels unto themselves. They have their own level security, they have their own monster populations, and they have their own respawn rules. So I'll address each grove individually as we come to it, but for the executive level itself, we can kill everything except the executive bo exec bots without worrying about respawn. For the exec bots, we can kill 13 before the respawn will trigger. So, with all of that said, let's remember that we're currently vulnerable. So, let's get out a slightly better weapon, I'd say. Um, I hear cyborgs, so let's use... Let's try Teflon pistol bullets. Let's see how those work. Unless, of course, I can hit him without being hit. Awesome. Well, that was very close. <clears throat> he was lobbing frag grenades at us, in case you couldn't tell exactly what was going on. And we very nearly died, but we didn't. That's the important thing. So, taking no chances. Go get some healing done on the reactor level, since it's still so easy to get to. All right. Now let's head back to the exact level. It won't be hard to get to to level three. The eerily quiet maintenance level. And back up to level six. That was the cyborg warrior. He's got Teflon coated pistol rounds and we've got one camera, two cameras. Destroying them drops level security to 94%. There's another one up there, but we have to get rid of that force bridge before we can destroy it. So, I see two ways to go at the outset. Let's turn left first. This, it's also worth noting that this level is big. There's a lot going on in here. Alright. As long as I'm still vulnerable, I'm going to be very careful of opening doors. This is the entrance to Alpha Grove. See, it has its own elevator. I don't really want to mess with the groves yet. Just know that... Well, no, that's the entrance to Alpha Grove. And back here we have the Alpha Jettison, which has been disabled. And that's it. That hallway serves exclusively to lead us to Alpha Grove. So let's head this way instead. There's... 
an exec bot. We'll gradually gun it down. All right, that leaves me free to destroy 12 more. That one has Mark III magnesium tip shells. And I'm gonna run, I'm only running the level three to fill up my energy. Invisible mutant or not. All right, we can kill 12 more exec bots, so let's Remember not to exceed that. All right, the corpse itself has nothing, but you can see two standard pistol clips in front of it. I'm probably gonna have to cut this video a little short because I only have half an hour and this deck's a lot bigger than that, but I should just be able to edit them together. For you, it should just look like I paused the game for a minute. Anyway, here's our first log. This is... Aaron, October 12th, 2072. Shodan has proven itself a brilliant biochemist. The camera views at Beta look like... like nothing I've ever seen. I asked for a volunteer to go down in an Enviro suit to flip the switch and release the grove. They looked at me like I was crazy. Alright. So we... Now we know that... The virus is in Beta Grove, and we want to jettison it, but we don't have the details on how to accomplish that just yet. Never fear, we'll get them. Okay. Let's check this room out. I think this is a light switch. It is. We've got a lot of, got three different branching hallways off this little room, which has a cyberspace terminal. We haven't seen one of those in a little while. Let's jump into this one. That's something new. It's called a hunter killer. And as you can see, it really messed me up pretty bad. Let's try that again. Alright, we got that. Very good. Now in here we have a data object. That one's protected by ice. Looks like my drill software is too sucky to get through it. Is this so? What do I have here? That would be Pulsar Software V6. Oh, where's that little bastard? Oh, he's it's firing its own drills at me. That's the problem. Where is he? Cannot seem to get close enough. Need better drill software. That is the question, isn't it? Well, now what's this? Info node data corrupted. Storage closet unlocked. ID Edward Diego. Awesome. Come on, run away. There you go. Now let's take a few more shots at this thing with our drill. <clears throat> I guess I do need better drill software. Before I come back here. That can't be right. Ah, there we go. Got it. Turbo software acquired. Not quite sure what that does, but 
Okay, now we can move on. Let's go down this first tunnel. Having the version 6 Cyber Shield is helping a lot here. Of course, I've become rather disoriented. Okay. Next juncture. Alright. Well, let's try again. At least those things go down fast since my pulsar software is so upgraded now. Okay. Keeping track of the turns quite a bit better this time. Alright. Got one bad guy. I don't know if there are any more or not. So we got a new data object. We got Sea Shield version 7. That's awesome. There's something else in here, too. New data object. Alright, let's keep going. Where's the next tunnel? Can't find it. That's where I came in. There's the next one. We're gonna run out of time, but... in here. Looks like I got both. Good. Let's keep going. Sea Shield version 7 is doing me a world of good. Trying to drill through the ice defenses on whatever that was. I've picked up every upgrade so far, but my version 3 drill software doesn't really seem to be cutting it. There, finally. It's always much easier once you really pinpoint the new tunnel. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You got this, you got this, you got this. Nail it, nail it, nail it, nail it, nail it, nail it. Ah. Come on. Again. Same idea. Cra I'm having more trouble with the goodies with ice defenses than I ever, than I ever have with the monsters. Maybe monsters isn't the right word, but... Through the tunnel, yet again. Dang it. Keep trying to bum rush it. Maybe I should. Try something else. I don't know. This is what I get for bumping the cyber difficulty up to three, I guess. I've never been much good at these sequences. 
Knowing that the final boss is in cyberspace is scary to me. But, no time to dwell on that. Just gotta... I think I need to try what I did with the one in the first room, which is I need to try to open up some distance and then fire my drill at it from farther away. work. It was on to me the whole time. My goodness. At least you can't r actually honestly die <coughs> in the real world from your failures in cyberspace. And I've also taken the maximum number of time penalties already, so... That much is good, too. I just can't get anything done with this. I wonder what these other softs are for. I don't even know. I don't even know how to use them. Turbo, decoy, recall. I'd wager that some of those might help me here, but I'll be damned if I know how to use them. Disabling mouse look and clicking doesn't work. Well, I got to it. Didn't manage to connect with my drill, though. You and me, hacker. Let's get it done. Let's run away, run away, run away, run away. I can't get far enough away to make it stop shooting. I know that I... I suspect that I still haven't actually connected with a shot from my drill software, because if it fires one at the same time I do, they just bounce off of each other. Of course, I don't know why so many of its shots get through to me when the opposite isn't the case, but... There we go. And it was just a decoy software. I don't even know what that does. Ah, well. Alright. What's this? Gamma Quad in exec level, now property of Edward Diego. Okay, what else? Here's, here's another tunnel. I can get through here. Whoa. Whatever that was, it was big and mean. Alright. Right back. Aha. That, my friends, is a Cortex Reaver. The interesting thing about Cortex Reavers is that in the story of the game, they ex they, like me, exist both in cyberspace and in the real world, but they don't always correspond that way. Alright, so in here, we got two more bad guys. If we take the left instead of the right. Okay. We 
gotta manage left. I gotta get some good distance here. And it starts shooting at me, of course. Yet another ice defense I have to disable with my drill. Let's get in here and head left. My problem when I was shooting from far away is that my shots were not getting past the mines and actually hitting the goody. There are only so many cyberspace terminals. I think there's, there's one on level 5, one on level 8, and then the last one, the one where we actually fight Shodan, so... Well, that happened quickly. So we're, we're getting to the point now where they are honestly quite difficult. At least if you crank the difficulty all the way up, like I did. Left. Left. Yes, left. Good. Alright. I got blown out again. And I thought I was pumping it full of drills that time. Guess not. That time I was trying the mouse look. I've discovered that in cyberspace, at least, it's much more effective to steer with the keyboard. And only use the mouse to fire your software. Heck, I thought I'd make some good progress, and, you know, I guess solving this cyberspace terminal would qualify as good progress, but... That may be all I end up doing um, before I have to leave for class. Oh well, that's not, that's not so bad. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Well, let's try this again. Go forth, hacker. Go forth and conquer. In 
integrity failure. I thought I was doing a good job deflecting the shots, I guess not. I don't like the first mine in this tunnel either, because it seems like there's just no way to avoid taking damage from it. Granted, they don't do much damage anymore, but still. Okay, come on, hacker. Integrity failure already? I mean... Jeez. I can only take two or three hits from those things, and... Good lord, this is absurd. You know what would be hilarious is if it turns out... Like, I need upgraded drill software before I can get this. That'd be just like it, wouldn't it? Is touching the walls sapping my integrity, too? That would certainly explain some things. Is that time... I have discovered, both in cyberspace and in the real world, if you catch them in time, you can shoot down incoming projectiles, or, as is the case here in cyberspace, just deflect them. Oh, come on, come on. I want you to go left. I want you to go left. There you go. Integrity failure before I even manage to look at it. Unreal. Alright, let's try again. I did not expect to spend 30, 40 minutes dealing with a single cyberspace terminal, but this goes to show you. There it was, integrity failure. Gosh. I feel like my hitbox is gigantic, and theirs is tiny. But maybe that's just the frustration talking. Integrity failure. I just, I try to get lined up enough that I can start deflecting some of the shots, but by the time I do that, my shield's already out. It's because, spoiler alert, that particular data object, I think, is a massive upgrade to my pulsar software. Which is, you may, should know, my primary weapon. Come on now. Enough. Let's get this done. Gotta make the difficult left turn. Let's just try flying faster. Maybe that'll do it. Well, I managed to get to it and be told that it was blocked by ice defenses. I haven't even done that in a while, so that's good. Through the tunnel. Now 
make the left. No dice. Unbelievable. There must be some way to use this turbo decoy recall software. Well, I got a few shots off, and they were lined up, but they were all deflected. I didn't get a shot through, which is what I need to do. No worries. Undaunted, we press on, as I'm so fond of saying. me with another integrity failure. See, I'm of the mindset that <clears throat> if I have it lined up right, then the shots should deflect properly, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Come on, hacker. We can do this. You and me. Together. Come on! Sometimes if I start right-clicking too fast, it's almost like he stops even firing. At least I don't see the software going off. Yeah, see, rapid-fire clicking is actually less useful than spacing it out. That's good to know. Manage my clicks a little better. Oh, damn, I had it that time. I even had the gap in the shooting. Or I could have gotten one through. But I moved my mouse! No! Wrong room. I got turned around. Let's try again. Please go the other way. There you go. I think having mouse look off might help me because then I can point my crosshairs exactly where I'm trying to shoot instead of having to use the keyboard to line it up. Oh, we're through that tunnel. Let's go through the second one. Let's remember to turn left this time. At least what starts out is left. Okay, I swear, the walls must be sapping my integrity because I don't even see the shots getting through to me. But if that's true, then it only happens sometimes. No. Somehow the shots are getting through and I'm just unable to see them. I don't know. I'd really like to finish this cyberspace terminal. Uh, that's starting to seem like it might be wishful thinking. Come on. I saw you try to go the wrong way, douche. Ah, 
soon as I get clear of the mines, it guns me down first. Damn ice defenses. They must be extra powerful, too, since the blue squiggles are so big around the little square. That must be what that's illustrating. Still, I should be able to solve this problem. How can I so completely fail at this? Over and over and over again. I've got my drill software on what I'm supposed to use to get through ice defenses. We figured that out early on. Research level, I think. Alright, I know I got some shots through that time. Does that mean my drill software isn't good enough? Because I know I landed some hits. Yes, turning off mouse look helped, by the way. Turns out that's a good decision in cyberspace. Something else to keep in mind, now that the terminals are really upping the ante in terms of difficulty. Got it! Finally! Pulsar version 8! That's what we wanted. Alright. Now we should be able to gun some motherfuckers down. And, of course, now I can't even find the exit. I'm just so relieved. Ugh. There we go. Alright. So, it turns out I will just be able to finish this cyberspace terminal. Alright, let's gun down the Cortex Reaver. Here's a switching node. Beta Grove Elevator unlocked. Beta Grove Access. Very good. Here is Eel Zapper Game Software. And there's a recall software. That's everything out of there. So, let's do a couple of things. Let's head out the way we came because we are in dire need of healing. Back to the reactor level. And it's comforting healing sweet. Ah, oh, that's good. Now we'll head back up to level six. you have to close the elevator door every time you want to go anywhere. Okay, so for this first little segment, what I accomplished was clearing out the executive level cyberspace terminal, and it's inverted the sides I like. I'm going to save, and now let's look at the data that we got out of there. We got Cyber 6, Cyber 7, and the executive maintenance code. So let's read through the... In addition to that, of course, we upgraded our software. While we were in there, we unlocked Diego's Armory, and we unlocked a um, the Beta Grove Elevator. Anyway, Cyber 6. The 6th of From Rebecca Lansing, Subject Executive. The sixth level of the station is the executive and residential area. Alpha Quadrant contains the main banquet hall and conference room. Beta is the dormitory area, and Delta is a mercantile area with shopping facilities. Our sensors show that Gamma Quadrant is under massive reconstruction, though it is unclear what is being built there. 
Note that the main CPUs on the level are only accessible from a crawlway which connects beta and gamma quadrants. Also note that the four groves simulated outdoor environments are only accessible from this level. Alright, let's look at Cyber 7. Sender Rebecca Lansing, Subject Engineering. The engineering level is built around a tall central core with entrances to the top and the bottom of the core from each quadrant. So if you can get into the core, you can use it to cut across to anywhere on the level. Otherwise, you'll have to go around. Most of the level is broken up by narrow, twisting access passages, so beware of ambushers in these areas. There's a medical area just south of the core and an armory to the east. Computer systems are between these two areas. And finally, we have the Executive Maintenance Code. Executive Maintenance Crawlway Code is 711. And finally, if we look at the software, we got some of this stuff. Our big upgrades, we're getting Site C Shield up to version 7, and a massive upgrade for our Pulsar to version 8. So, I'm going to set everything the way I like it. I'm going to save my game. And I'll leave it on pause and pick it up here because I have to run the class. And we're back. After a reasonably productive day of classes. Okay. So for this loop, I'm just going to start by turning right every chance I get. So here's an executive elevator. Which will take me down to deck level 5, the flight. <laughs> Alright, we got smacked around a little there by a couple of warrior cyborgs. I'm going to have to bounce down to the reactor level and heal up, most likely. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. Let's get out of here. I read an interesting little bit of lore. That face that's on all of the screens all over the station, according to the manual, is Edward Diego urging the rest of the station personnel to join him in serving Shodan. I thought it was interesting. I also read that on the entire station, there are three working surgery machines, of which we have already found two. Alright. Well, let's go after this guy. Okay, that one had a Teflon cl pistol clip. That's handy. Oh, there's another dead one back here, which also has Teflon pistol bullets. An empty little room here. Let's head over here. And here's this room. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Very good. That makes things much simpler. Okay. In favor of carrying first aid kits, generally, I'm gonna burn one battery pack. And... Breathe a sigh of relief, now that I can freely zerg all over the executive level. In the meantime, I'm going to make sure my map gets filled in. As I head down this hallway. Ah, 
That's an exec bot. When I destroy him, he'll be the second one I've killed. <laughs> Although, actually, I'm kind of curious as to whether I need to kill him or not. Well, with two in here, I almost certainly do. Unless I can pull them out some way, but... You know, at some point, I have to skip six. I'm alive. Dang it. If I hadn't stepped off the edge that time, I would have gotten past them. and into a clear room, which is the important part. All right, so this corpse has a stamina up stimulant on it. Let's see if we can read these papers. Try optimum security report, October 10th, 2072. The rioting on the residential level has not calmed down since it started yesterday morning. A security team was dispatched 12 hours ago, but met with unexpectedly strong resistance from the rioters. Some of the members of the security team claimed that the mob had broken into weapons lockers and had armed themselves. Worse were the reports that some of the rioters were already engaged in skirmishes against oddly formed beings. There is no evidence to back up these reports, though their coincidence with the reported biolab fiasco two weeks ago is troubling. Here's a log from Aaron, October 17th, 2072. Diego just left. He sold us out. I can already hear the cyborgs on their way. The dining hall's a dead end. I only hope Bianca made it out of the trap. If anyone can make it up there and use the chip, it's her. I only hope we're still holding when these doors go down. That cyberjack is Shodan's Achilles heel. All right, so here we have an administrative access card. New access is gained. Five corpses in here. Well, that one has a helmet, but none of them have anything useful. There's a Fletchette, which we already have, and two AM Hornet clips, which I will pick up. Let's see what this button does. Turns off the lights in this room. All right, let's fill in the map. Now let's try and pull the exec bots back in here, because I would rather not you know, knowing that I do eventually have to skip six of them. These two both great candidates for two out of six. All right. So I'm still free to kill two exec bots, but... I'd almost rather keep track of the number, I have 12 exec bots, but I'd almost rather keep track of the number I have to skip. That number was six, it's now down to four. And that's really good. So let's head in here now. Delta Jettison is a broken lever. And here is the entrance to Delta Grove. Infrared Night Sight Unit V1. One of the few... One of the last two pieces of software we hadn't installed yet. Night Sight Active. Uses a great deal of energy, but there it is. And let's take the other possible passage out of this little hub. There's an exec bot standing in there. Those are dead. I'm gonna turn on all the light switches. 
map out this room. <laughs> this map is empty. Except for a target identifier, version 3. Which I think is a pretty good upgrade. Those were both warrior cyborgs. Not exec bots. Now that is an exec bot. I'm gonna try to leave th leave that one alive too because. Oh, I'd rather get all of that skipping over with as soon as I can. The only one I've killed was standing in a hallway I absolutely have to pass through over and over again. Carpet needs cleaning. That's fine. I was trying to search the two warrior cyborg corpses and just sprint past that exact spot. But, I will probably need to, at minimum, activate my lantern in order to clear the two those torches. We've got two standard clips, and one more standard clip. Let's get that last standard clip and then actually run past that jerk. We got it. <laughs> My goodness. I do hate respawn. I guess it keeps things tense if you can't quite clear out all, all the levels. Alright, well here's another light switch. For this theater looking joint. Turn my lantern off. And head into here. Try Optimum Fun Pack module. Probably in games. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about that. Alright, first, let's drop down here. Hopefully, we're safe from that exec bot. Let's explore what looks like a theater or some kind of viewing room. The corpse has nothing. Next to it, there's a meta patch. Pretty standard, really. And here, we have a log from Aaron, October 12, 2072. Gamma Quad's blocked off. But, Laura found us a maintenance crawlway that should lead to the CPU and the master jettison control. We went over to the beta dorms to check it out. Lamar went in. But he hasn't come out. Okay. That... <clears throat> and here's another log. If I can get him to pick it up. Perry, September 11th, 2072. Security notice. Shodan's printing our security codes on different screens. Today it was the Triop logo screen near the elevator. Thing had full code for the exec maintenance conduit. I say pull that damn A offline and fix it before we're in a fix. Alright. Now. If we successfully sprint past that thing. That's three of the six exec bots we need to skip. 
Already, already handled. Oh, and there's an invisible mutant. It's gotten itself out and about, which I don't particularly like. In fact, since I now know that I can, in fact, trap them in this pit, I'm gonna go ahead and try to do that. So far, so good. <gasps> Actually, this is good anyway, because it'll clear out the spot next to that energy recharge module, but... Just gotta get him to fall in there. Yeah. You two get nice and cozy. You gonna stay in there. That would be two out of four. And I think there are two stuck in the relay analyzer room now too, so. That's my... I think that's an excellent strategy for truly infinite respawns. Isolate, where possible, trap. The things that you have to leave alive. Oh, yes. There's a V1 target identifier up here. Don't know how I didn't spot this little room earlier, but that in itself is now obsolete and doesn't do me too much good. <laughs> what I'm looking for... Here we go. Yes, this is going to be a major upgrade, folks. I thought I remembered being able to access it. So, we find our way up into these conduits. Alright, there's a security one bot we'll have to destroy. Which is fine. He drops an AM Hornet clip and an AM Splinter clip. Now, Security 1 bots also respawn on this level, but I can kill 16. So I can kill 15 more now. Back here, next to the skeleton, that lightsaber looking thing. It's time to lose the lead pipe, because if I can convince him to drop it. Because we now have the TS4 Laser Rapier. It even sounds awesome. And it's just about as awesome as it sounds. It's actually one of the strongest weapons I'm carrying right now, despite the fact that it's a melee weapon. It does use a small amount of energy whenever you actually hit something with it. That doesn't particularly matter. I'm honestly shocked that I missed it on my first trip through the maintenance level, but... Oh well. Live and learn. Let's head back up to level 6. So we've completely mapped out all those rooms. We still haven't really heard anything about what we need to do to get rid of the virus, except jettison Beta Grove, but what we haven't learned yet is how to do that. There's another exec bot. Although he's in a spot where we probably need to kill him.
That's not even. I was wrong. That wasn't an exact bot. That was a warrior cyborg. And he's got a frag grenade. I like frag grenades. And there are two exec bots in here. I would like it if they were the ones that I got to skip, but... And you saw how fast that warrior cyborg went down with the laser rapier, right? That wasn't just me. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. There was some hefty awesomeness happening there. Well, here's a severed head and an executive door. One shot, down goes the hopper. That's awesome. Now back here we've got an SB20 Magpulse with Magpulse cartridges. That's what we really need. Let's load this bad boy. Oh, much better. 25 new shots for the Magpulse. Mm. Alright, I'm... I have a sneaking suspicion I can leave both of those exec bots alive, too. As long as they stay in those little hallways. Let's see how accurate that is. Nothing in that mode. Nothing in that mode. Need to make sure there's... Well, just to make sure that my map is complete, I need to check out all the hallways, but... How many exec bots are in there, anyway? There's one, there's two, there's three. Okay, if I can leave all three of those where they are, then I can kill all the rest I run into, because I'll have skipped six. Serve bot. Seriously? Severe damage to the poor little serve bots. That one's got a soda can. Same as that one. Same as that one. Same as that one. That one's got a flask, or a beaker, I can't quite tell which. And there's an exec bot, but since we've already skipped six, we can go ahead and kill him. I tell you, that's a relief. Getting it done that quickly. Alright, down he goes. He's got an AM Hornet clip. Good times. Let's check out the outer perimeter of this room. We've already searched all the serve bots. That what is that? Big and mean, whatever it is. I'll just keep on zerging it for now. I love the laser right here. Oh, this makes me so happy. That was an Enforcer Cyborg. Alright, something else in there spotted me. We hadn't seen an Enforcer Cyborg yet, but there it was. Oh, come on. Where'd I get that? There we go. Onward. That one carries nothing. Now in this central area, what is this? An MM76 railgun. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's better than the dart gun. 
and I'm going to get rid of mine. Alright, let's take a look at it. Oh, I keep hitting W and I'm trying to hit E. So, rail clips. I don't really have any of those yet, and that's fine. Over here, well, let's turn on my lantern. That'll help me see. Alright, that's it for the center of this area. So let's head back out to the perimeter now. Cameras! Level security's down to 91%. Head over here, we find a meta patch, a detox patch, and another camera. Let's drop security to 89%. Over in this corner, there's just another camera. Security's down to 86%. That's it for this little back area. We'll probably get killed again trying to get past these exact bots, but that's okay. Maybe not. Alright, now what about back here? There's one, which we can go ahead and kill. <clears throat> Because we have already skipped the requisite six. Let's just head past all of them. Take him down. He's got nothing. That's fine. Make sure this room is fully mapped. And head down this hallway. Another grove entrance. Gamma Grove. Gamma Jettison. Lever's broken. Like all the others we found. Gamma Grove already jettisoned. Interesting. Okay. Well, oh, Gamma Grove is already jettisoned. So... I'm seeing another camera. Right here. That drops level security to 83%. Not that we're carrying dart gun anymore, but I'll still go ahead and pick up the darts just because. Here's a human corpse with nothing on it. Now let me back out and make sure I haven't skipped any cameras or anything like that. That's the one above the force bridge think. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Alright. Well, that leaves only one way to proceed besides into the groves. Alright, we're done skipping exec bots. As long as we leave those six alive, we can kill everything else we run into. That's a relief. We can do it without worrying about respawn, and I think... Oh, my lantern is still on. Wondered why my energy was crashing so badly. Alright, that one has... Teflon-coated bullets, which I would still like to pick up. If I can get close again. That wasn't particularly awesome. The door shutting booted me out into the room, but... Let's keep, keep going. Oh, an exec bot. That's what's killing me. He's down. Dropped a heavy slug 2100 clip. Another security <laughs> down here. He's got a hollow tip 2100 clip. The other one we dropped has a Teflon coated pistol clip and an AM Hornet clip. 
their exact spot. He dropped a Heavy Slug 2100 clip and an AM Splinter clip. I'm trying to think. With all of the levels that do have infinite respawns, level 1 hardly matters anymore, but we can't kill any more humanoid mutants. Level 2 we can actually clear, and we have. Same with level R. Level 3, we can kill one more invisible mutant and 15 more security one bots. On this level, we've identified the six exec bots we're going to skip, and we can kill the rest of them. Alright, good. So there's nothing on the ground level here. I guess we can just ride the repulsor back up. Alpha. The door is broken beyond repair. Okay. I happen to know that Beta is our ultimate destination, so let's try Delta first. I mean, Gamma. The door is broken beyond repair. Delta is where we actually came from, I think. Yes. So here's the central hub for the executive level. You should be used to the hub and quadrants structure by now. <laughs> One whack is enough to take down a warrior cyborg. I love this weapon. Okay, so we got this hallway. There's a human corpse and a log here. Calfax, October 1st, 2072. Yesterday, Shodan shut down Beta Grove. No reason. At first, the thing resisted all of our usual overrides. Then the circuits revealed the security switch. It's in Diego's old room, on Beta Quad. I bet we could also open it from the cyber Wait a minute! Oh my god! What the hell is that? Oh, it's your pants! We have already opened Beta Grove from cyberspace. As you may recall, we have found an energy charge station, which is handy. We head into here. We run into our first virus student. It's got nothing. The corpse in here has nothing. There's a log out here. Shodan, October 7th, 2072. Cyborg 82N. In response to recent regrettable incidents, I have altered the sequence necessary to jettison groves. One must now enable the jettisoning of all three of the remaining groves before any single one can be launched. To jettison a single grove, one must do three things. One, hit the jettison enable switch inside all three groves. Two. Two. Activate Master Jettison Enable and Gamma 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 Quadrant. Three. Pull Jettison Lever in a specific Grove Lounge to launch that Grove. Alright. Well, now we know what we're doing. <clears throat> gamma Grove is already jettisoned. So we will have to go into Alpha Grove, Delta Grove, and Beta Grove and pull the Jettison Enable switch in all three. That's step one. Step two, we will have to go hit the Master Jettison Enable in Gamma Quadrant. And then, finally, we'll hit this Beta Jettison Lever. Master Jettison Enable not activated. As for Beta Growth itself... Warning! Dangerous biocontaminant detected. Do not enter without protected suit. As another hiccup, we need to find a protective, we need to find an enviro suit before we can get into Beta Grove. But before we worry too much about any of that, let's head down this hallway. Let's just finish exploring the executive level proper.
try not to aggro any of those other exec bots and we'll be fine. <laughs> One. Just have to keep left and get the other. All right, down he goes. This one has an AM splinter clip. This one also has an AM splinter clip. We've got three possible doors. Let's take the regular door on the left first. We find a first aid kit and a metapat healing agent. And a corpse. Doesn't have anything. And let's try this one. Same idea. Looks like a bedroom. We got a severed head and a severed arm. Over under the table, we've got two more meta patches. So that's handy. We'll hold on to those. Now we can head through this iris door. Whatever that was, sounded angry. And I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's open this door first. This. That's a gorilla tiger mutant. They're pretty easy to deal with, unless you're stupid enough to let them hit you. They have to... They have to melee you for that to happen. And those two are down. This corpse has nothing. I don't really see anything in this bedroom either, but... What we do have now are some torn down walls and opened up segments. One of Shodan's virus mutants. There's another gorilla tiger. It's got nothing. Over here we've got two detox patches. That's always handy. Let's keep my map solid. Always make sure to hug the edges so your map gets filled in. Alright, let's head back here then. There's another gorilla tiger with nothing on it. crate here, Teflon coated pistol bullets, and a first aid kit. This screen, can't tell which lounge it's looking at, guess it doesn't really matter. This corpse, it's been stabbed with something nasty got nothing on it though. Ah, but what we see here is a switch. Which opens and closes the Beta Grove elevator door. This then is Diego's old room and that's the other way to open the Beta Grove elevator if you can't or don't want to do it through cyberspace like I did. All right. This little area is clear. Let's take this iris door now. Just because I think that's how we get to the immediate other end of those grates. 
Here we have another pretty straightforward bedroom, although there is an opening out of it. A very low-res version of the Scream. The corpse just has a helmet. I keep saying the corpse has such and such, like that's definitive. I think in reality, uh, the contents of the corpses are randomized. Right, there's another gorilla tiger. I'm gonna have to crouch to do it. The gorilla tiger's got nothing. That's Shodan's virus mutant has nothing. Ah, that eliminated the Force Bridge, which lets us see the the Trioptimum logo is flashing the uh, code, supposedly, but we already have it from cyberspace. So with that Force Bridge retracted, we can go destroy that camera that's been bugging me for so long. The service access door is unlocked by a keypad. I'll go back there in a minute. I want to clear everything else out first. Alright. Let's make my way back here just because I think that this door that I skipped is just a generic little bedroom. It is. Doesn't even seem to be anything in here. Oh, there we go. There's a meta patch hiding behind the shell. Oh, and inside the cabinet, which I didn't know we could search, there are a couple of stamina up stimulants. Okay, I guess that means I need to search those cabinets in all of the bedrooms. Don't worry, it'll be quick. No cabinet there. Here's one. Nothing inside or behind it. Alright, let's head, head back to the Diego zone. That one's got nothing in it. That one's got a meta patch in it. Nothing behind it. In Diego's actual room, there isn't one. Okay. That's all fair. Let's head through the iris door again. That one has a meta patch in it. One. This is just a dead end, as I recall, but... Here, we've got another meta patch. Nothing behind it. This one on the ground has... a Hollow Tip 2100 clip, as well as a soda can. Alright, let's head out here now. Another little self-contained room between those two iris doors. Yeah, there's really nothing in here. Same there. That's the door we came into here through. Let's wander down to the end of this hallway. Auto bomb. <laughs> Well, getting sent back here is actually good, if only because it affords me the chance to head back to the entrance and 
eliminate that camp. Level security 711. There, the code does pop up on that screen. Even though we already ha we also already had it from cyberspace. There, now we haven't skipped any level security devices. That's always a good feeling. So with that auto bomb down, let's see what else we can find over in Beta Quadrant. Head through all these doors. Let's head over to where the auto bomb was. Nothing over here. We head back here. We'll find our way such that oh, there's a corpse on this. He's got nothing. Now the only way forward is into the maintenance access conduit, so let's enter the 711 code, which we could get either from the screen or from cyberspace. Let's crawl through here. Maintenance bots. That one's got nothing. That one's got nothing. Here's Shodan's computer nodes for this level. We have an AM Hornet clip, a biological systems monitor V2, which we already had, a corpse that for me has nothing. Now the explosions from computer nodes are still pretty serious, so as much as I might like to, I'm not about to whack them with my laser rapier. Instead, let's get our trusty spark beam out again. <laughs> That drops security to 54%. 27%. Level security now 0%. And the level 6 number for me is 6. So if you'll give me a moment, I'm going to write that down. My numbers so far are, remember, if you remember, from level 1, 5, level 2, 6, level 3, 5, level 3, or level 6, 6. So I still need to get numbers, I mean, I don't actually know this yet in the game world, but I need to get numbers from level 4 and level 5. I think that's an auto bomb. I'm going to blow it from down here save my game. Oh, that's always a good feeling to have level security taken care of. New area. There's Diego. All over those screens. And more exact, new exact. Let's do as much damage as we can. I actually dropped two and got a solid hit on one more before having to backtrack all the way down there. I know the zerging seems irritating, and I'm sorry about that. The reason for it, I've said this before, but I'll keep periodically reminding you just because it bothers me a little too, but you want to save all of your resources, use as little as possible, while zerging is still an option. Because once you get to level 8 and level 9, which are far harder than anything else in the game. There are no more healing suites, and zerging is not an option. It reaches the point where you... ...where you have to stay alive. Alright, let's search these bots now. Security 1 bot drops an AM Hornet clip. First exec bot, nothing. 
Oh, it's doing that thing where my mouse won't go right anymore. <laughs> that exec bot. Well, he had a... Some kind of magnum clip, but couldn't quite get to it. Before my... Some other robot gunned me down. That's all okay. You're managing not to trigger respawn. That's important. Alright. Zip right through here. Now let's look for just what it was that did such a <laughs> thorough job gunning me down. <laughs> Another exec bot. Oh, there's something else in there, too. <laughs> so, so far, I've destroyed four four exec bots and a security one bot. I can't remember what I've searched. I know I searched the security bot. I think one of the exec bots, but I can't remember the exact one, so I'll just make sure I search them all. Once everything is finally done. Can't imagine Shodan likes having her security on this level reduced to zero. There it is. It's a floating security one bot. Alright, down he goes. He's got nothing. The exec bot has nothing. That exec bot has an AM Hornet clip. That exec bot has nothing. That exec bot has a Heavy Slug 2100 clip. That exec bot has nothing. Alright, that's it for the top level, so let's descend. Over here, we have a corpse with nothing. A log, Wilkin, October 4th, 2072. Listen, I know I shouldn't have done it, but I was just taking orders. If those execs wanted to ride Gamma Grove off into the Great Black, well then good riddance to them. With all the mutant killers, I couldn't blame the suits for trying to escape. I hit the enable button in the grove, hustled over to the exec level to hit the master enable switch, and then back to flip the lever outside the grove. Of course, Shodan had disabled the life support systems in the grove. I'm sure they're all dead by now. Sucky. Alright, let's hit this lever. That <clears throat> is the Diego Cyborg. I think he's... There are sound files in the game code that indicate Diego's supposed to talk to you, but he's never... S I've never heard him say anything. And I've played through this part a few times. Of course, I know you encounter him. You have to fight him three different times, so... Maybe he speaks up later. Because I've also only gotten to this first fight with him. But let's let's keep Zergen the bastard. I don't know if you noticed, but he's dual wielding laser rapiers, which is pretty hardcore. I'm a fan. And that was him teleporting away. And now we can get into this area he was guarding. That is the Master Jettison Enable. Safety interlock still engaged. So I can go ahead and hit that, but I will have to still... Safety interlock still engaged. I think, okay, no, I need to come back and do this after I, uh... Hit the switches in all three individual groves. Where does this elevator go? Elevator disabled. Biohazard emergency. Okay, we 
can't use that elevator yet. I think that's the one that goes to level 7 after all of this is handled. So this must be uh, Diego's little hidey hole. We got Magpulse Cartridge, Nitro Pack, Earthshaker Explosive, Concussion Bomb, Heavy Slug 2100 Clip, and Concussion Bomb. Lots of good explosives up there. We've got two logs and a paper. Let's read the paper first. To Edward Diego, Vice President, from Rex Melville, Technician. As per your authorization order from Shodan, we have completed installation of an ETU, Experimental Teleportation Unit, within your new in your new quarters. Its second terminus is located near the elevator to the maintenance level. Activation of the ETU is triggered by any object of sufficient weight, 50 kilograms. Be advised the, that the ETU is still in its testing stages. Shodan's authorization was not backed by any research personnel and we urge extreme caution when using the device. All right, let's get the two logs now. Diego, October 16th, 2072. Shodan, I have seen the wisdom and beneficence in your actions. You, uh, you do not mean to cause us harm, uh, no, but rather to bring us to, to greater glory by serving a being as perfect as yourself. Please allow me to demonstrate my loyalty by giving you the human scum who undermine your reign. Uh, they are hiding in the Northeast Banquet Hall. All I ask in return is a measure of protection and uh, the privilege of spreading your message further. Uh, here's another log. Diego, October 5th, 2072. So this is earlier. A Triop security team just tried to land in Base 6. They were real impressive until I blew out their attitude jets. Hey Shodan, take a letter. Dear Triop, please send some more people to investigate me. I run security, I run the robots, I'm jamming communications. That's right, Rebecca, investigate me. Investigate my butt. Note to myself, uh, keep that hacker on ice for a while in case I need him. Otherwise, just take him out. All right, let's open this executive door hit the switch to turn off the force door, and we've got another jump disc. Um... I'd like to step into the region. I'm unclear on just how I can do that. Alright, I don't want to load my last save, which pretty much leaves me with the option of killing myself with an explosive, so let's use frag grenades, they're cheapest. There's a hidden door, but the door is locked. I don't understand. I'm supposed to be able to use Diego's little machine and get through there. I'm gonna go play with it in a minute just because I'd really like to open up that direct transit from his office to the elevator. So Diego was an idiot, but in the end, his decision to go over and try to assist Shodan paid big dividends in the form of, you know, some pretty awesome cyborg gear. Right, my thought is that this is supposed to open the force door on both ends, but it's not. Oh, there we go. That was stupid of me. <laughs> there, There's a button on the top of the teleporter. And now we can hit this switch 
And now we have that direct transit. So, let's start tackling the groves and we'll begin with Alpha. You heard we have to enable the individual jettison controls in all three. Alpha, Delta, and Gamma. Or Alpha, Beta, and Delta. Now Alpha and Delta we can go ahead and do. The problem with Beta is before we can go inside, that's the grove where the virus actually is, we also need to get an Enviro suit, but we can do Alpha and Delta now, so let's do that. Now I think I mentioned that each grove is a level unto itself with its own security and its own monster rules. They also are the first first places in the game where we can't resurrect. There are no healing suites inside the individual groves, and if we die inside them, that's it. So we have to be more careful. Now, here in Alpha Grove, the respawn rate is pretty ridiculous. There are two kinds of creatures that respawn. The Gorilla Tiger Mutant, there's only one, but if we kill him, he'll respawn. Always. So there's no point in killing any Gorilla Tiger Mutants because it always spawns a new one. There are also five plant mutants of which we can only kill one before the respawn will trigger. So, don't kill Gorilla Tigers, only kill one plant mutant. We can kill everything else. Oh, and there is our one dead plant mutant. But the, the good news is all of those things are pretty easy to dodge, deal with, however you want to phrase it. So here we are in Alpha Grove. It's just, as you can see, there are passages up there that we will have to find our way to. Showdown's buddy, the virus mutant. Oh! By mistake, we can get killed. We just resurrect out on the executive level. Well, that's fine. All right, let's head back in there. The groves are a real pain in the butt just because they actually stay pretty crowded. Particularly the plant mutants. But there's not a lot we can do. Let's just... Zoom past those two, both of them, if we can help it. Make sure the map is completely filled in. And you see up here, two cameras. Let's take them both out. Security drops to 75% as I do that. There's a security one robot. He's got an AM splinter clip. Good for him. Now down there you see the Gorilla Tiger Mutant, which we're just gonna try to ignore. Because if we do kill him, he'll just respawn. Same with those plant mutants. If I kill one, it's gonna spawn two new ones at this point, so... Let's head over here. Search the corpse. There's nothing on it. Here's another one of Shodan's security cameras. <laughs> Level security's down to 62%. And we got gunned down by another security one bot. That's fine. Just keep on keeping on. I, I'm keeping my eyes open, too, for a good way to try and trap the spawning mutants, but I'm not, I haven't, I haven't seen anything too promising yet. Okay, let's zoom past them like we did before. Let's head through that door and 
deal with that robot for great justice. And he's got a hornet clip and a splinter clip. And just as I finished looting him, the plant mutant killed me again. Let's use a battery pack now and bring that first aid kit with me. Into the grove, senor. Into the office. Let's close the door. In here we have debris, but here is the jettison enable. Safety interlocks disabled. Alright, so that one's taken care of, but... We still need to explore Alpha Grove. There's at least one very important goodie in here. There's the Gorilla Tiger. Let's be very careful as we run away from him. There's a Mag Pulse cartridge in that corner. Here, let's get a... Let's get a ranged weapon out to destroy these cameras. 37%, 25% level security. We're up on the bridge now. There's another plant mutant. And another human corpse. Let's poke around these other big rooms first. The door is locked. Blocked by Shodan level security. That corpse has nothing. I've kind of got a bead on all of the enemies now, though. That's a good thing. Ah, yes. Winged mutants. We can take them down with impunity. That one's got nothing. That one's got nothing. We got needle darts, which are useless since I <clears throat> stopped lugging around the dart gun. There's another one. Down it goes. There's another camera. Level security now 12%. I'd wager we have to find the last camera and drop it to zero. But I might be wrong about that. Here are a couple of sets of Trank darts. There's the last camera. Level security now 0%. That corpse is empty. Now let's head back to this door. And open it up. There's another Security One robot with a Heavy Slug 2100 clip. On the floor here is a human corpse. Let's keep going through these openings and we find a secret sort of office wherein we find a detox patch, a Berserk Combat Booster, a Reflex Reaction Aid, and a Mag Pulse. Over here, we find two Teflon-coated pistol clips. Over here, we find DC rubber slugs, which are for a gun that, as near as I can tell, is completely and utterly useless. Okay. That room's cleared out. Let's finish off Alpha Grove by heading up here. Keeping my eyes open, of course. Now over here we find a Stamina Up Stimulant, a Berserk Combat Booster. 
we hit that, it'll lower an elevator, which takes us back to the main area, which I don't want to do just yet. There's a standard pistol clip, another clip of rubber slugs for the riot gun, which we haven't found yet, but is utterly useless when we do. And... That looks like everything. That can't be everything. It sure looks like everything. Give me just a moment, folks. Okay, now I guess that is everything. Hmm. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Okay, good. Sorry for the little hiccup there, folks. I'll be back in just a moment. I forgot to search the briefcase. <laughs> which has what I'm looking for. The RW-45 Ion Rifle. We are going to lose our spark beam in favor of this much, much more powerful energy weapon. Of course, we'll crank the use up to high. I'm gonna keep, keep using the laser rapier for now. Get on out of Alpha Grove. We're done in here. Get back to the elevator and get out. Back to the main executive level. There's one down, two to go. But before we do beta, of course, we'll need to go find an Enviro suit. For now, just head straight back here to the entrance to Delta. We'll take care of it. Now Delta is much more forgiving in terms of our ability to kill things. There are two Gorilla Tiger mutants and they'll respawn if we kill both so we can kill one of them. There are nine plant mutants but they don't respawn unless we kill more than six. So, to recap, for Delta, I can kill one Gorilla Tiger and six Plant Mutants. Alright, let's head there. Five. Four. <laughs> three. Let's go search those bodies before we do anything else. Zoom the map out. I don't know why it defaults to zoomed so far that you can't see anything. Alright, I can kill one gorilla tiger and three plant mutants now. That's where I find myself. There is a mag pulse cartridge. There's something behind this shrub. See it? Stereo. Okay. I guess that's not particularly useful. Now this corpse has nothing. Next to it, there's an AM splinter clip. Let's destroy showdown the cameras now. That drops security to 75%. I can now kill two plant mutants. And one gorilla tiger. Security's down to 62%. Now, I can't do anything left. I can go straight or I can go right. Let's go right. I like the aesthetics of that better. Alright, there's one gorilla tiger. Alright, I have to leave the other gorilla tiger alive and I can only kill two more plant mutants. Alright, security's down to 50. There's the middle. Let's... 
Alright, I can only kill one more plant mutant. I have to leave three alive. Hey, what's back here? Well, there's a Magpulse cartridge. We're finally finding some ammo for that wonderful anti-robot gun. Up this ladder, we find another camera. Drop security to 37%. Under the desk, rubber slugs, needle darts, a pistol, and two meta patches. Okay. Let's check out the rest of this top level. There's a camera over there. Security's down to 25%. That would be the other gorilla tiger, which I have to leave alive. That corpse has a berserk patch. And the bad guys finally caught up to us, but that's okay. Let's just head back into Delta Grove, since it's right here. Let's head down this straight path now. I can still kill one plant mutant, but... I want to exercise some care as to which one I choose. This is almost like a hub inside the grove. This is where I was. That corpse has nothing. And we got killed again. Oh well. Don't want to attract the attention of any more exec bots. Back to Delta Grove yet again. I know I don't want to kill this one because once I establish that this room is clear, I have no reason to come back in here. Alright, let's check out this service door. Here's the jettison enable for Delta, so I'll go ahead and hit that. Safety interlocks disabled. And we can drop level security to 12%. That's always good, too. Now we're up top. I'll destroy that and I'll leave the three on the ground level alive. That's it as far as destructible plant mutants. That guy has an ML-41 pistol along with two standard clips. The body itself has nothing. Got a couple of seats to look out over the grove, I guess. Another stereo hiding behind the shrub. There's the last camera. Security's now 0% inside Delta Grove. There's the other gorilla tiger. got an energy charge station and version 2 of the energy projectile shield. Now that is useful. Alright, let me zoom out and take a look. I'm sure that was locked by security a minute ago and isn't anymore. Right, let me zoom out and look at the map, see where I still haven't been. Still haven't gotten to the top level in there. Not sure if there's a way to do that. But other than that, we're clear. Well, let's get back over to the entrance. I wonder if I can climb the vines or something. Yep! Okay. Let's check out the top level in these rooms. Nothing over here. Really nothing in this room at all. Let's give the same treatment to this room. And then Delta Grove will also be cleared out. Oh, we got another side area to explore. Let's climb up 
here. All right, let's check out that other side tunnel. Well, I see a robot back there, which is probably going to kill me if it manages even a single shot. But we'll deal with that as we come to it. Down here, we find a nice collection of patches. Sight vision enhancement, meta patch, meta patch, berserk, combat boost, and genius mind enhancer. Let's head back up here now. Let's be very careful because the robot's around this corner. Got him. He's got an AM splinter clip. And back here we find, well there's a dart gun, a gas grenade, a dart clip, Teflon pistol bullets, a frag grenade, and an RF slag clip. Alright, that's it for Delta Grove. That's also it for the exec level for now. Our next destination, we have to get a biosuit, envirosuit, whatever you want to call it, in order to infiltrate Beta Grove and disable the jettison switch there. If you've been paying attention to the logs, you know that we can find an envirosuit on deck four, which we can access through the freight elevator here on deck three. So since deck four is dangerous, I'm gonna hop down to the reactor level again, use the surgery machine. Lovely. back up to level three. We need to go to the room where I've been trapping invisible mutants. They're still conveniently stuck in that little bit. There's one. Let's pull him out and trap him in the pit too. <gasps> With his buddies. Come on, Hoss. You know you wanna. Get in there. <gasps> Come on, chase <gasps> after me. There he goes. Beautiful. And now they're stuck down there. I, of course, don't want to live with that damage, so let's go use the surgery machine again. But while I'm in transit, I'll recap exactly where we are and what we're up to. Our current mission is to stop Shodan from releasing its mutagen, her mutagen virus on Earth. The virus is being cultivated in Beta Grove on the executive level. So we need to jettison Beta Grove. In order to do that, there are three necessary steps. First, we have to hit the jettison enable switches in all three groves. We have done so in Alpha and Delta, but getting into Beta is a little more complicated. In order to hit the switch in Beta, we first have to find an Enviro suit which we've heard from logs is on level 4. So we're headed to the storage level to find the bio suit. Once we find it, we'll take it back up to level 6, infiltrate Beta Grove, and hit the jettison enable inside. Once we do that, we can hit the master jettison enable in Diego's office, which we already found. Then we can use the jettison lever outside Beta to get rid of Shodan's virus. So that's where we are. I'm going to close the door. Take us to level four. Zoom my map out to where I like. And since we're on a new level, I'm gonna call it a video because you know I like to fully explore levels as soon as I arrive on them. So I'll update my main save. I'll create a level four save. And I will say this has been Let's Play System Shock. Next time we'll explore level four and find, a, find an Enviro suit. Until then, Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.